Welcome to Oracle Flow Builder demo. Oracle Flow Builder is an automation framework which makes creating automation desk scripts easy. Let us see how to create a procure to pay flow in procurement. The basic transactions are creating a requisition, auto creating it to a purchase order, create a purchase order, approve it, create a receipt, create an invoice and make payment for the invoice. Let's log in into Oracle Flow Builder. Enter a username. Enter the password. Click on login. Navigate to the flows link. Navigate to the release, product family and product where we want to create the flow. Right click on the product. Select the option create flow. Enter the relevant flow name. Here we are creating a flow to demonstrate a P2P flow. So we will enter the flow name as demo P2P flow. Create requisition. Make payment. INV that is invoice. Select the relevant flow type. Here we would be selecting certification. Enter the tag. Tags are used for searching flows. Multiple tags can be entered separated by comma. Here we will enter two tags demo, comma, P2P. Enter a relevant description for the flow. A flow which demonstrates the complete P2P cycle. Click on save. Now the flow is created. We can update the flow in two ways. Select the flow here and click on update flow structure button or navigate to the flow tree. Right click on the flow. Select the option create or update flow structure. Here a default scenario is created with the same name as the flow name. We can create a new scenario. The first scenario we are going to create is for creating a requisition. Enter the scenario name. Click on yes. The scenario is created. Here we will add the components related to creating a requisition. First we will add the prompt URL login and navigate components. All the components are made into a component set and we can directly use the component set. We can search for the component set, highlight the release, enter the component set name and click on search. This is the component set which we would require. We can drag and drop it into the flow tree. It has three components, prompt URL, login OAF and navigate OAF. Next we would add the components related to creating a requisition. We can search for the component or we can drill down to the release product family product and feature to add the components. We are seeing the second approach here. Select the scenario where the component needs to be added. Navigate to the component, create rec header complete. This component is used to enter the information for all the header fields in a requisition form. We can drag and drop the component into the flow. Next we would add a component for entering the goods line information for the requisition. Add PR line goods common. Next we would add a component to enter the distribution information for the goods line. We can also add the component by right click options. If we right click on the component we have options like move above and move below. We can use them or we can directly drag and drop into the flow. Next we would add a component for approving the requisition, approve requisition common. Now let's add test data into the components. For one component we will add the test data using the component test data screen. Right click on the component and select enter test data. Enter the data for operating unit vision operations. Type purchase requisition.
enter the description for the requisition. Click on save. Click on close. For the next component, we will add data using the test data Excel. Right click on the flow name. Select generate and download flow test data Excel. Save the file to the local drive. Open the file. Enter the test data for the relevant fields in the component. We are going to add for add PR line goods common requisition line number one type would be goods item enter the item name CM0042 enter the description for the item 56k modip enter the quantity required 10 enter the price 10 need by date all the dates are considered relative to the system date Hash sys date plus 5 represents 5 days to be added to the current system date. Destination type inventory. Requester green Mr. Terry. Organization vision operations. Location V1 New York City. source supplier click on save close the file now we will upload the file right click on the flow select upload excel and populate flow test data select the file which we have updated click on start now the test data gets populated into the components. Let us have a look. Here we can see all the data which we have entered in the test data Excel is available here. This is how we assemble a flow in Flow Builder. Once the flow is assembled, we need to click on Assemble. Now let us have a look at a flow which is completely assembled with all the scenarios and components. Demo P2P flow in purchasing. Creator update flow structure. This flow has five scenarios. The five transactions in a P2P flow. Approve purchase order, create receipt and create invoice and make payment. All the components relevant for the flow are assembled. Let's have a look at the test data Excel. We can see that all the components have the data entered. This is for the complete flow. We will see the example of how to handle variables. Let's take the example of auto create component. The requisition number created in previous components need to be passed here. We need to check this checkbox for adding variables. This list box gets populated with all the variables present in the components prior to this component in the flow. This is how a flow is assembled. Let us see how to generate the OFT scripts. Right click on the flow. Select the option generate OFT scripts. Execution folder location, the location from where we would like to execute the script. Enter the synchronization values, normal weight and page weight. Select the option rerunnable if required and rerun is enabled in any of the component used in the flow. Select the relevant rerun type for the flow, string, numeric or alphanumeric. If the script is dependent on a time zone, we can select the relevant time zone and click on download suit. 
the generated file is a zip folder. We need to unzip it and export it to OpenScript in order to execute it. Let us see how to execute the script. This is the zip folder and this is the main folder. We can see a master driver and five subscripts. The scenarios of the flow which we have created are subscripts in the generated script. Let's try to execute it. Open the master driver. This is the tree view. And this is the code view for the master driver. Let us see a subscript. Create requisition. This is the tree view. And this is the Java code for the create requisition script. Now let us execute it. We need to provide the URL of the instance where we want to execute the script. Giving the instance here. We can see that the script has started executing. Logged in with the user which we provided in the flow. It's navigating to the form which is given in the navigate component in our flow. The first transaction in our flow would be to create a requisition. That is what we are going to see today. The requisition form is opened. All the data which we have given in the flow would be entered in this form. Header information is entered. Now the line information would get entered. Distribution details and it is saved. This is how the script gets executed. Now let us see how to generate a test plan. Right click on the flow, select generate and download test plan. The generated file is again a zip folder. We have two formats that get generated here, HTML and document format. Let's unzip it. We can see the two formats. Let's have a look at the word document. This is the name of the flow that has been created in the Oracle Flow Builder. All the scenarios in the flow are scenarios in the test plan, create requisition, and all the components are test cases, login OAF, navigate OAF. All the data which we have entered in the flow is also available in the test plan. We can see that all the scenarios are present here. This is how we create a flow in Oracle Flow Builder. Please contact us on these email IDs for any queries or additional information. Thank you.